Stick It with Mr. Biggs is made possible by listeners like you. To support the show, go to askmrbiggs.com slash support. Stick it. And we're back. Hey, welcome everybody. It's time once again for another episode of Stick It with Mr. Biggs. A fine little program where we introduce you to several different concepts in the world of adhesives, glues, anything. Any, anything that sticks. We're going to talk about it like tape. Magnets. Yeah. Um, are you are you feeling all right, Roger? Hawks. Are you okay? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm good. What do you mean? It's the new year. It's yeah, time. It's, it's just, time for re- it's time for renewal. It's time to yeah. start fresh and to and to and and really look at the future as something new and great where well, we can all Roger, Roger, you don't have to bite my head off about it. I just I'm just concerned about your well being. You don't stop yelling at me. Well Jeez. no, I'm just, you know, I'm excited. Right, hey. You know, maybe I need to dial Every it. year to... around this time Roger gets a little sad. It's it happens all the time. And sometimes he takes it out on other people. Don't mind him none. He doesn't mean it. Well Actually, it's the same old Roger. Happy New Year, Roger. Uh, you got to uh, be happy. Well, yeah, I'm. I'm excited for the new year. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do new. Well, then thing. act like it for goodness sakes. Don't be a Mister Sad Clown over there. Look we're, at you. We're gonna do new things. It's gonna be exciting. And uh, this, like I said, the beginning of every year is a time to renew, and refresh, and reset. Yeah, I don't know what any of that means, but I know that uh, on Stick It, Stick It, with Mister Biggs, we talk about glues and adhesives, right. and that's what I—that is what I intend to do. Well, if you uh, if you feel the need to uh, lash out again, I want you to uh, you know step outside for a few minutes. All right. Well, I don't feel that way right now, but I'll tell you what: if I yeah. do feel like. Uh, l- l- uh, lashing out at some point during the podcast, okay. I'll I'll step aside. I'll go outside. I'll get some get some air. It's uh, Big's Cast at Gamal dot com. If you got questions about glues, adhesives, any projects you're working on, you need some assistance. Uh, I'm here to answer your questions. But you know what? Before we get to the uh, the the email portion of the show. There's something else we got to do, Roger. Do you remember? Yes. Yes, I do. So you just want me to say, yes, I remember? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yes. Yes, I remember what we do next. It's breaking news! <laughs> Are you feeling okay, Roger? I, I don't... Mean, your, color, your color is bad. No, 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 no. Everything, Everything's good. I think it's the, the, the sweater I'm wearing is a little, little bit too dark for my... Complexion. You know what? Makes me look I'm gonna go pale. adjust the flu. I'm gonna adjust the flu on the uh, on the stove a little bit. I think we're getting a little bit of uh, backdraft down the chimney. Hold on a second here. Yeah. It's a, oh, there we go. Well, oh yeah. There is much less smoke coming into the room now. That's good. Much less. Well, yeah. I mean, but it's good. But we do need the fire. Cause it's New Year's. It's 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 a new year. It's it's January. It's chilly. Yeah. It's cold out. In the breaking news segment, we talk about the breaking news. Right. And that's uh, news stories about uh, things that got busted, and I tell you how to fix it. So, uh, yeah. Dateline: Copenhagen, Denmark. Carlsberg Beer has announced its new Snap Pack which is set to reduce plastic waste globally by more than 1,200 tons a year, the equivalent to 60 million plastic bags. The snapback replaces plastic wrapping used around Carlsberg's six-packs with a pioneering technology that glues its cans together, combined with a small strap attached to the top to use as a handle, 
Cans are connected to each other with a small dab of an adhesive similar to rubber cement. They're gluing cans together. They're they're gluing them gluing them together. This is a first mm. a first for the beer industry. The innovation will reduce the amount of plastic used in traditional multi packs by up to seventy six percent. And as it so happens, I have brought in a what six. What is this? This is a six pack of Carlsberg beer that is using this snap pack technology. You know. You know I got. I have a suspicion here, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But you basically just read from a press release. That was not a breaking news story, <coughs> Roger. Nothing got broken in that story. And now, after reading from the press release, you just happen to have a sample of the product. Well, I hmm. mean, it is. It is. Uh, it is a piece of information that uh, yeah. we are sharing with the audience that pertains to. Hey. Hey, Adhe- Roger. Adhesives and glues. Listen, if you're taking, if you're, if you're on the take, and getting some uh, sponsorships on the side, I just want to let you know I'm okay with that. But you got to cut me in. You can't just do it on your own and pocket the cash. All right. Uh, if these, if these Carlsborg people are giving you money to promote the product, let's get them as a sponsor on the show. Well, don't work it in as a breaking news story when it's not breaking news. It's uh. <clears throat> it's uh, that's not what's happening. I'm not getting any kind of kickback or any kind of uh, side deal going on. I, I just saw the Play story. It. I'm sorry. What? Uh, prove that I'm not getting any side action. I don't. I've never seen a, a six pack. That is held together with glue before. What is? I don't understand how this works. Well, what, it, this what, is. What are the mechanics involved here? What is this? Well, it, it, what it what we have here is this is this is a six pack right here, and you can see that they are attached. A, the cans static are static electricity. N- no, no, it's a snap. Yeah. They use glue. No, they use static electricity, and it holds. How does the there's no ring around the top? Right, right. Well, they want to. They want. They don't want to use the rings. They they don't want to use all that plastic. So what they've done is you can see the 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 six pack. They're all connected. Why don't they want to use the plastic, Roger? There's plenty of plastic in the world. There's no everywhere you look. There's plastic. Right, <laughs> right. It's right. cheap. They, well, easy. Yeah, easy to obtain and use. Yeah. Well, I think that the idea is they they want to you know not. Use yeah. so much plastic. They want to reduce the amount of plastic they 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 use. So um, this is their this is their idea, and you can see all the cans are together. They're held together. You can sort of slide one around, and they all oh move. oh I see. They, oh, this is what they meant they, when they when they said in the press release that you <laughs> erroneously presented as a breaking news story. In that, it said that they uh, they glue the cans together. Right. And now, now I understand. Yeah. So that's you can see that it is a a, a glue yeah. kind sure. of news story. Yeah. Well, it yeah, it's not breaking news, but I understand what you. Uh, well, you yeah, said. it's got a. It's yeah. Hey, hey, Roger, how do you how do you get the can off? Well, let how me does that work? here. What what as I understand it, all you do is just grab, and then you just kind of because it's a snap pack, so you just like. Sn- S- sn- snap. Sn- okay. Wait. Okay. Maybe. Hey, I'm, I'm Roger. Not, I'm not... R- Roger. Go ahead and take one of the cans off. Is right. what I'm saying. That's what I'm doing. I mean, well, that. Okay. This is. Okay. I'm trying to do that. I don't think I'm gripping it right. I don't think I have a good. Hold, hey, Roger. Hold on it. Is it under? You should probably grip it harder and then, you know, pull it well, with your muscles. You can't really grab it because they're all together. I'm going to sort of. W- Wedge my fingers. What's happening in here between the cans? You can got to get a finger. Okay, this is. You're gonna have to pull on it at some point, Roger. Pull it. Well, you can't get any sort of. Just grab a hold of it with your hands. Oh, Grasp it with your hands and yank on it. Okay. Come this on. Is, this is. Th- I think. I think once once we get one apart, they're all gonna come apart pretty easily. 
So let's see if I go. Ro- Roger, why no? Well, there's no Here, there's let, no, let me have a look. L- no, let me have a look at. Let me have a look at it. Right. Jeez. <laughs> All right, this appe- this appears to be some sort of uh, hot glue. They hot glued the can. <laughs> Roger, they hot glued the cans together. What's that? <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, you know, it's, it's, that that is a fantastic prank 'em up. I'm gonna a, have to remember that one when Angela and Cody come over. I'm gonna hot glue all the cans of Mr. Pib. I'm gonna hot glue them together, and they'll reach in to the ice box. Try to pull one out, but they won't be able to, <laughs> because they're all stuck together with hot milk glue. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't think this is a prank. This is this you're is... going to have to pull a lot harder to get the can off. Roger. Well, the problem is I, I don't. I've never done this before, and there's no, there's no like instructional guide. Or, uh, there might be something on YouTube that shows you how to do it, but I'm not quite sure. Well, try how, using a pry bar. You got to use a lever. You need something to get in there and get some uh, leverage on it. <coughs> and try prying them apart. Go ahead. Here, I, wait. I don't. Sh- I don't have a. Lean, lean over there to that uh, table and and hand me a, a wood chisel. Give me the wood chisel. Which one? Which one? The wood. The wood chisel. It's not, none of these, there's no, but it's not. Yellow handle, sharp pokey end, right there. But it's not, is it, so it's not made of wood? It's for wood. No, it's. There's no wood. Oh, oh Roger. I Roger. Okay, here we go, here we go. <sighs> okay, let me, see now if we put it in here where they hot glued it and you twist it a little bit. Whoa! Oh, jeez! No! Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Roger, give me the towel! Where are give they? me! Quick, quick, give me the towel! Oh, there's none on the... There's no... There are no towels on the wet... There is... Oh. Hello? Where are they? I don't see The them. more I shake it, the more it sprays! I don't see the towels. Give me... Uh, give me some napkins in the, in the counter over there, second drawer. I don't see the towel... What's that? In the drawer, second drawer. Oh, gee. Oh, okay. Okay. Here. Okay. Man, it's... Oh. Oh. It's a lot of... You know what this this smells like, Roger? Yeah. It so, smells it's like be- beer. Beer, it's, yeah. It smells like... Uh, oh, it is beer. Yeah, it's Carlsberg beer. You should have said Copen, that. Copenhagen, Denmark, Carlsberg. All right. This is... Now that one, that one was a false start. I'm going to try a second can here. Okay. Well, let's gonna... let's get some. See this? No. What this time? I'm going to put the wood chisel right at the end, so oh. I can use the leverage of the can it... it's, no! it's not. That's not. Uh... Oh come on! Don't... Oh sh- shame on me! Don't... Shame on me! Okay. That's not okay. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna need a lot more. Where? What? Is there? Are there? <laughs> are there towels? Are th- you have? Roger, I can't hear any. Oh, we need. Your mic- microphone is buzzing. We, what it? Is- we need towels. There is beer all over the mixer control board yeah. in the faders. Can you hear me now? We need more. Let me have you, Jack. Are- Oh, no, I didn't. your jacket. No, 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 what, no. What, what, your jacket's well, already wet, Roger. I don't more... know what your problem is. Don't be precious about your jacket. Are there more? It's, it's not flattering anyway. I can I can run upstairs and get in uh, the... Maybe in the right. linen the linen closet. I'll, Do you have... I'll, I'll just use... I'll use this. I'll use... Oh, I'll wait. use my jacket because you are so precious about your little thing. Okay. That's no. Fair. I don't know how okay. we're going to well, we're gonna I, continue. I don't understand what the point of this was. Well, the what they're trying to do, the folks at uh, Carlsberg Beer, they're trying to use yeah. less plastic. Therefore, they're not. They don't want to use the the six ring plastic uh, six pack holder. All right. So instead, they want to make a mess of. Uh, Mess of the beer everywhere. It sprays all over when you can't get the can off because somebody pranked you. 
Well, and, and hot glued all of your beer cans together. I think. <clears throat> I think. I think with a with a couple of with a little bit of practice, I think we'd figure this out. But I I think maybe the. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna you know throw. Oh this, yeah. I, oh, that's that's not bad. I like it. It's. Uh, I think probably in hindsight. Drinking it right from the slit. Uh, right. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, well, I think, I think, I think in hindsight, maybe the the wood chisel was was overkill. I'm just throwing that throwing that out there. <coughs> yeah, you're right. They should not have hot glued. Used so much hot glue. They should have maybe used a little bit less. A little bit less. Do you think it would still? Yeah, you know what? Uh, when you when the guy from Carlsborg <laughs> gets back in touch with you and wants uh, wants your feedback. On the product, because you're clearly in cahoots with them. Mm, no. You'd let them know that they had too much hot glue. Okay. Well, I... Hey, Roger. Roger. Well, first uh, first of all, this has been breaking news. Oh, yeah. Yeah, breaking news. Breaking, breaking news. news. Breaking news. Okay. Speaking of libations, Roger. Yes, and sir. Wanting to, and wanting to save the earth by using less consumable materials, I want to I wanna do a thing. So uh, do me a favor... Uh, do do this do the thing for me for uh, for whiz bangs. You mean you remember whiz bangs? Whiz bangs where the <coughs> where the party never ends and the no start again. Whiz bangs where the fun never ends and the parties never ending. On the corner of Phillips and Mountain downtown. That's right. It's the hottest hot spot in the Tri County area, and uh, some of you new listeners to stick it. Stick it. With Mr. Biggs, maybe unaware that uh, for my day job, I am the owner proprietor of Whizbangs. And uh, it's the uh, winter season, yep. and we have a special that we have every. Every time of year around this time, we uh, we have a hot whiz banger, correct? Which is a, a specialty cocktail at the Whiz Bangs Bar with the uh, gold slugger and vermouth and clamato. Right, right. So what we're doing is we're trying to take the magic of being inside a, a bar slash restaurant slash nightclub, and we're t- taking the magic of that, right? And the whiz banger drink. And we're allowing you to do it in the privacy of your own home with the Hot Whiz Banger Beverage Pods, available for key ring machines. Now at Whiz Bangs. You mean... Like, you mean the... 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 Keurig. The Keurig machines. The, what? It's going to be... No, the, no. Keanu machines. The ones where you put the little pod in. Right, right. The, the machines the, the, they're made like, by... They, they make coffee, but they... You, you make a. You can make other drinks for them right. too. If you if you use the K cup, right? You can there make you your own corning machine. Right, right. You can do. You can make any kind of hot beverage pretty much now. And, hot uh, whiz banger <laughs> beverage pods available at uh, at whiz bangs K cup compatible. That's right. There you go. So uh, if you've got one of your very own K- uh, KU Rang machines at home, K- maybe Keurig. you got one for the Christmas. Keurig. You can uh, stop by whiz bangs and uh, pick up a. A 12-pack of Hot Whiz Banger Beverage Pods for just thirty-seven ninety-nine. Now it's is I now how does that work? You've got, you've got the uh, the clam the uh, clamato. Well, I'm guessing no. there's like instant. No. Uh, d- um, no. 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 We were not <laughs> able to work. We were not able to work out a licensing deal with either uh, the curing company. Curing. We were not able to work out a licensing deal with the clamato company. Um, <laughs> The Goldschlager organization did not return our calls, so we, we've had to make a few concessions. So okay. uh, in, well, in the K cup, it's got we got genuine clam gel extract, and we've got artificial bacon and cinnamon flavoring. All right, all right. Make sure you keep that in the freezer, keep it frozen, and then you you thaw it out. Put it on the counter about twenty minutes before you're going to use okay, it. Let it thaw you, out before you put it yeah. in the, in the K cup maker. No, it's K cup, Roger. Don't don't say it that way. K cup. K cup. K cup. K cup. How was I saying the, it? What did I for say? For the corning machine. No, uh, Keurig. What, what? What did I it's say? K, K, no, K-cup? Roger. K cup is is a licensed term. We cannot call them K cups. It's K cup with a K. K cup with a K. 
K A Y. That's what it has. K K cup. K K U P K cup. If you say it the other way, the, K- their lawyers K-Cup. can come after me. But if you say K cup, we're in the clear. Say it again. It's K cup. K cup. Cake. <coughs> oh, I see. You. Okay. K cup. K A Y. Take a drink of this uh, Carlsberg beer. K- Have a sip K- of that. K U P. K A. No, I'm good. K A Y K U P. The K cup. Okay, I got yeah. you. Yeah. So after you put it through your curing machine, and you just add some tomato juice, and then the the clam gel extract will come out hot and steamy. Right. With right. With the uh, cinnamon flavoring, mixing with the gold schlager, and you put some vermouth in there. Maybe throw a cherry tomato, some. Blue cheese, a little shredded bacon on the hot whiz banger. A hot whiz in your very own kitchen. The hot the hot whiz banger, perfect for these chilly winter nights. And like you said, um, yeah. you've got to provide your own tomato juice, gold schlager, vermouth. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper per serving than a hot whiz at whiz bangs. Uh, right. But it's a right. different experience because you're doing it in your own home. It's convenient. It's convenient. This yeah. way they don't... They don't have to head out to uh, whiz bangs. They can do it right at home. They don't have to go anywhere. They can just stay home. And I gotta say, it might damage the uh, the uh, key ring downspout. Keurig. What? Keurig. For the Keurig. cake, the K cup. Uh, 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 the the machine K-cup. itself. K cup, not cake. Say it right. K cup. K cup. Co- you're coring. You're curing downspout, and your and the pump seals. Now you're talking about you're talking uh, about you're talking about the unit itself, the machine that makes that that makes the the hot whiz banger, the machine. No, we make the hot whiz uh, beverage pods. The machine does the pressurization and the heating of the uh, clam gel extract. Okay. Okay. Good. And you got to be careful because the downspout and pump seals will be damaged. So every time you make a hot whiz. In the privacy of your own home, make sure you clean that out with some white vinegar every single time. I cannot stress this enough. Okay. It's Hot a- whiz bang of beverage pods. It's, uh, Available now at whiz bangs in the uh, waiting area, gift kiosk, general vicinity. Okay. Just stop so these- on by and thirty-seven ninety-nine for a dozen. For a dozen? Really? That's a yeah. that's a good deal. Oh, it's a great deal. It's a lot cheaper than uh, getting a hot whiz at whiz bangs. I'll tell you that much. And assuming, of course, that you have the other ingredients, uh, the other ingredients on hand in your liquor yeah. cabinet and your refrigerator. But really, it's sure. it's worth the trouble if you're willing to. Uh, you know, it's probably a good idea to clean out your Keurig machine anyway on a regular basis. So this gives you a good excuse to do that. Just have your vinegar on hand and. <coughs> Get a mouthful of hot whiz. And then you can clean out the machine because you've got to do it every single time. I can't not stress that enough. I'm a little confused. But you said it needed to be kept frozen? Is Stick there... it with Mr. Big. Stick, Stick it. it. Is a no. podcast about glues and adhesives, not about hot beverages made in the convenience of your own home, or even if it is a great gift idea. That is not what the podcast is about. It is about ways to glue things that uh, will uh, make your life better and improve. <laughs> they wanted to give the hot whiz banger K cups to uh, friends. It's too late because it's holiday season's over. <laughs> Oops! Whoops! Arbor Day's coming up. Birthdays. All right. St. Patrick's Day. Well, should we uh, should we jump into that email? Email. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, you didn't have to play it. You, you, e- we could have gone the whole show without playing it. Email. But I guess I, I, something I wanted to mention about that is yeah. that the uh, gentleman who made that for us on Fiverr via Fiverr. Dot com. He wanted to let me know. He emailed me and said that he's changed his his DJ name to uh, Quaker Furniture Maker, and uh, he wanted to let me know that he changed it because he's doing a side business where he's uh, in a, in addition to doing DJ uh, production work, he's also now uh, making uh, uh, 
furniture, mm. wood furniture in the in the in the beloved Quaker style. So he's now DJ Quaker furniture maker. So he th- just wanted me to throw that out there. This is a most unusual email. This is uh, so no. He no. wants to know what kind of glue to use. No, to no, no, no. Glue That's the, the furniture the, up. The gentleman who made the E. Type Bomb Three is my go-to. Is it going to be outside? It's. Uh, it was the. Oh, uh, do we have to be concerned about humidity? Did he? What did he say? He said uh, that um, he's he's uh, the DJ who made this the sounder, the email sounder. Oh, that guy. Yeah. I, oh, hey, Roger. And Roger. He wanted, I don't care. I don't. Roger. I don't care about that guy. I don't, I don't care. So don't don't DJ, say any more words about him. DJ. Quaker Furniture Maker. Yeah. Is what Bigscast at gmail.com. If you got an email, all your questions about glues or adhesives, you hit me up. Sneak in an email. DJ yeah. okay. Quaker Furniture yeah, not, Maker that, yeah, dot that, com. Roger. Slash. Roger. Okay. Stop. He asked me to just get in a little mention there. And I ask you not to ever talk about him again and to delete the email sounder, and that didn't happen either. So I guess uh, 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 DJ Hamster Furniture Maker and I are both disappointed. I don't think he is. I think he's happy. I think he's... Do we have an email, Roger? We do. Is there an email? We do. All right. Let's have that then. Woo, we do, we do. Let me pull that out. Uh, Please. (coughs) Uh, Dear Mr. Biggs... Roger, I am concerned about your well-being. What happened? Well, I mean, you're, with all the coughing and the, uh, you sound a little raspy. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, um, in the I mean, cooler... when the show started, you were you were yelling and you were uh, very short and upset mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. screamy and screechy. And now <laughs> with the coughing, I'm starting to think that maybe you're out of sorts. Are you going to be all right? Well, uh, it's it's the colder months and the air is dry. There are more yeah. more particulates p- particulates in the air, and uh, yeah, I get a, a little tickle in the throat, so I have to. All right. Well, listen. If there's something bothering you, you can talk to me. You can let me know, and you know we could talk it out. Instead of you lashing out at me and you know going off the handle and biting my head off. Well, I know, mean, let's, let's other... you know talk it out. If if it's because you don't feel well, that's fine too. You can go lay down, put a cold compress on your head. Maybe you have your, yourself a mouthful of hot whiz. <coughs> well, I, I mean, the particulates are in the air more so. I know. <coughs> Stop coughing, and do an email for goodness sakes. All right, here it comes. I don't know what your problem is. Okay, here we go. Sit back. Relax, take some take some deep breaths, and uh, we'll get through this email. Dear Mr. Biggs, my brothers and I were playing around with a ball in the uh, in our room the other day. The ball got away from us, and it bounced through the door, down the stairs, and crashed into my mom's favorite vase. Holy moly! Yeah, yeah. There were pe- <laughs> there were pieces of it all over the floor. My brothers and sisters glued the vase back together as best we could and put it back on the table. None of us wanted to hear Dad lecture us on being responsible, nor did we want him to cancel that weekend's camping trip. Uh, We thought we'd uh, done a pretty good job repairing the vase, but that night during dinner, water started spraying out of the cracks in the vase, soaking the dinner table. Oh, no. Uh, uh, The question here is how... Could we have done a better job gluing the vase back together? Thank you. That's from Peter B. in Southern California. Gluing a vase back together. It's like a its a liquid holding vessel. Right. And I'm assuming it's made out of ceramic. So, let's see here. This, this, I, you think that through for a second. I'm just thinking this kind of sounds a little bit uh, uh, re- very, very closely reminiscent of uh, an episode of the... Uh, You're going to need an old towel. Right? Put down a towel. Towel? Okay. Yeah, and you're going to need a soft bristle brush. Let's see. uh, Maybe grab a flexible putty knife. Okay. Some masking tape. Uh, For good measure, if you got any fiberglass mesh tape, you can, uh, we can apply that to the inside of the, the, is it vase or vase? Uh, I've heard 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 them both. I've heard it both. I prefer vase just because I think. Vase. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say vase. Okay, okay. You can put some fiberglass mesh tape on the inside uh, for added uh, strength. 
Um, maybe grab a, a sharp knife, like a utility knife. Sure, sure. And uh, stop by the home store and pick up some 3M ceramic adhesive. They make a special formulation just for ceramics that will help uh, make a watertight bond on the porous ceramic surface. And uh, that'll, uh, that, I don't know what kind of glue you used, uh, Peter. Peter B., you, sh- you probably used the wrong glue. It probably was water-soluble. And uh, when you put the vase, is a vase or vase? A uh, uh, vase. I want to say vase, a vase. We'll say, we'll go with vase. We'll go with vase. When you put the vase on the table for dinner and it was filled up with water and started spraying water out, it was, uh, it probably dissolved the water-soluble glue. You probably used, I don't know, a library paste. I don't know. What kind of glues do kids generally have? Glue sticks. Right. Elmer's, yeah, uh, uh, yeah the paste, the Yeah, you don't tubes. use a water-soluble glue for a water-holding vessel. It's going to leak out. But it, it, it's just going to leak. It's not going to spray out like he said. Our kids are always exaggerating. Well, yeah. Because water is of, not going to spray out of the cracks in a vase just because it's, it's filled of, up with water. Yeah, it's kind of a... Kind of reminiscent of that, uh, uh, of what? an episode of that TV show where the, the, uh, the, uh, what show? The Brady, <coughs> the, the Brady Bunch show where the kids. I'm unfamiliar with that one. What is that? Where the, uh, you know, that's, uh, from the 70s and, uh, when? Uh, they had that big. Who? From the 70s, that TV show with the Brady Bunch, uh, from the 70s where they had that show with the big. Blended family, uh, three daughters. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. They had the dog. Yep, yep. They had yep. A, they had a dog. No, yeah, it was that was eight is enough. Yeah, I watched every episode of that that show, Roger. I watched I watched it twice. That was one of my favorites. I never saw anything about a leaky vase. I think you are mistaken. Well, yeah, I think it was on the Brady Bunch, and I think actually, now that I look through this email, uh, Peter B. In Southern California, that would be Peter Brady, and um, putting together mom's favorite vase. I kind yeah. I kind of think this might be a some sort of a prank. Now that I now that I look at it, I don't understand why the water would spray right out onto the table. Yeah, that's what happened. I mean, that's maybe what, that's it's what, possible. That's what it's happened. It's possible in, that the the vase was pressurized. Was it a pressurized vase? Does he mention anything about? The, 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 uh, is it vase or vase? I think it's uh, vase. It's vase. It's vase. I is it pressurized? He did not mention that at all. I don't know, really know why a, a, uh, a vase would need to be. I mean, I'm no. You're the expert. Would a vase need to be pressurized for any reason? What elevation is Peter B at? Was he at sea level? Uh, well, I mean. Because uh, I'm thinking, Roger, maybe if a high pressure weather system was coming through. Because he mentioned something about a camping trip, and that usually means it's uh, pleasant weather. A high-pressure weather system might... No, you see, no, that wouldn't happen either. I really don't, I don't think... Th- I don't think the water is going to spray out onto the table. It might leak a little bit. It might weep, kind of seep out onto the tablecloth and I don't think... get everything all wet. Make. Uh... Yeah, I, I think I think actually what, what's happening here is this is... Uh... Not a story from real life. It's a story from a TV show. And uh, Peter B. No, it, it's an email, Roger. He sent it to Bigscast at Gmail.com. I'm just, I'm just thinking there's a prank. Yeah. There's a prankster at play here. And um, Peter B. would be uh, Peter Brady from the TV show. And yeah. uh, I think, hey, I think actually, B. this is a, this is a, this has all been a, a put on. This has been a gag. All right, Peter B., next time use 3M ceramic adhesive, and uh, if you need help, go ahead and uh, ask the housekeeper, because she always seems to have the answers. If the housekeeper doesn't know, you could always ask that guy that she's seeing. What's his name? Um, The butcher? butcher. What what was his name? Well, you know how it is. You know, remember, Roger, you remember the butcher on 8 is Enough? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's all been faked, this whole email. I don't think... I don't want anybody. fake, Roger. Roger, why did you pick a fake email? I don't want fake ones. I want real ones. Tell tell the people to send a real one and tell them the address that they need to send it to. Go ahead. 
The email address is bigscast at gmail.com. Mail.com. If you've had any kind of situation uh, involving yeah. something that is broken, uh, that needs to be stuck together, two things that need to be stuck together and stay stuck together in the best way possible, the most efficient and effective way possible, then you send us your email at bigscast at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah gmail.com. That's for uh, your emails to stick it. Stick it. Some of you people listen to the show for free. That's fine, I guess. But there are other people that actually support the show on Patreon. We'd like to thank those people like Dysfunctional Dan Miner, John Rick Hurt, Richard Hainish, Bearded Dave, Matthew... Elias Hybear and Amy Bennett's transgender goat. Thanks for your support, everybody, and to all the Patreon supporters, Happy New Year! Stick it. Happy New Year, Roger. Happy New, Happy New, Happy New, Year. New Year to you, Mr. Biggs. Yeah, it's Happy gonna be, New Year to you as well. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great New Year. We're gonna have lots of. New great surprises in our podcast for the listeners. A lot of great new things to talk about. It's uh, there are. Roger has s- made a New Year's resolution to stop yelling at me stick- and going off the handle. There are many new stick it adventures. Stick it yeah. to be had in the new year. So are there though? Happy I mean, Happy New really? Year to all of our all of our listeners on Patreon and all of our listeners that don't support us on Patreon and all new listeners who are about to join the show. Seems like you could have phrased that better. Listeners who are about... See you next time, everybody, on Stick It, Stick it. with Mr. Biggs. Warning, carbon monoxide emitting from the ventilation... You sound a little raspy. Are you all right? It's gotten warm. Warning, carbon monoxide. <coughs> Warning, carbon monoxide. No! Oh, jeez! Oh, come on! Warning, carbon monoxide. Warning, carbon monoxide. Hey. Hey, Roger. Warning, carbon monoxide. Right, Ro- hey. Warning, carbon monoxide. Hey. Hey. Warning, carbon monoxide. Warning, carbon monoxide. Warning, carbon monoxide.